blow the trumpet in Zion, sanctify a fast, call a solemn assembly, gather the people, sanctify the congregation, assemble the elders, gather the children, and those that suck the breasts, let the bridegroom go forth of his chamber, and the bride out of a closet, let the priests, the ministers of the Lord, weep between the porch and the altar, and let them say, Spare thy people, O Lord, and give not thine heritage to reproach, that the heathen should rule over them. Wherefore should they say among the people, Where is their God? The synagogue of Satan tampered with the scriptures as well as with time to deceive the people into believing they have plenty of time to repent. In addition to tampering with the scriptures and the calendar, the Satans imitate everything the Most High does to deceive. Israelites, it's important for you to recognize duality in the scriptures as well as in the world today. If you can comprehend the world of duality, you will be able to identify the synagogue of Satan's deceptions from a mile away. Israelites, believe the scriptures when they say Satan have deceived the whole world. And the great dragon was cast out, that old serpent called the devil and Satan, which deceiveth the whole world. He was cast out into the earth, and his angels were cast out with him. Not too many people understand how deep-rooted the Satan's deceptions are. Most people don't comprehend how far the Satans have gone to mislead the people. Satan said that he will wage war with Adam and his seed. Satan was not playing. The scriptures in the book of Revelation let us know that Satan is full of wrath. The scriptures warn us of his anger and to be careful. The synagogue of Satan is trying to carry out the will of Satan because they know they have a short time. Therefore rejoice ye heavens and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea. For the devil has come down unto you, having great wrath, because he knoweth that he hath but a short time. The scriptures in the book of Revelation warn us of Satan's fury many years ago. When the prophecy was written, it said Satan knew he had a short time. Some people predict the prophecies in the book of Revelation was written around 68 to 69 AD. Israelites, that was a little over 1900 years ago. In the Most High's time, it has been two days since the prophecy from John in the book of Revelation was written. The Satans know they have a short time. They manage to deceive majority of people today to believe they have plenty of time to repent. If you rely on the beast system's calendar, you will never know the time and seasons we are living in. Israelites, it's important for you to know the seasons we are in. The Most High gave us signs to look for to know where we are in the journey to our redemption. The book of Revelation gives us plenty of prophecies that must come to pass before our redemption. I have heard some people proclaim our redemption is in a few years, as if they know the day of our redemption. The scriptures inform us that no one know that day, not even the word of God. Only the Father know when that day will be. But of that day and hour knoweth no man, no, not the angels of heaven, but my Father only. Israelites, be careful with people that try to get you to make rash decisions because they allow the lying signs and wonders from the synagogue of Satan to dictate their every move. Remember that Satans imitate everything the Most High does to deceive. The scriptures prophesy that the Satans will perform great miracles and deceive many. When the man of sin takes his seat, he will have great power and he will do all kinds of false miracles and signs and wonders. Make sure you're not being misled by the lying wonders of the Satans to determine what season we are in. And then shall that wicked be revealed, whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth and shall destroy with the brightness of his coming, even him whose coming is after the working of Satan with all power and signs and lying wonders. The other species of mankind took control of our identity and culture through imitating the indigenous black people. 
They planted their seed into the indigenous black populations all over the world and changed the appearance to some indigenous bloodlines. The other species of mankind used their infiltration of the indigenous black people's bloodline as the gateway to claim black people's culture and bloodline. That is why today they are claiming Ham's son's Mizraim's legacy and identity. The synagogue of Satan imitated the mark of the beast with the vaccine they pressured on the people less than four years ago. The synagogue of Satan imitated the regathering of the Israelites when they established the state of Israel in 1948 to control land in the Middle East. Israelites, you truly have to depend on the Holy Spirit to tell you everything that is coming. The Holy Spirit will help you identify the signs of the times. We are the generation that must serve the Most High in the Spirit and in truth. You can't walk in the Spirit without the Holy Spirit. This I say then, walk in the Spirit and ye shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh. Israelites, don't let the synagogue of Satan's Lying signs and wonders deceive you. We must be vigilant as a people. Israelites, you have to understand that the Most High is not bound by time. Everyone who live in this realm is bound by time. The prophecies written in the scriptures are not bound by time either. Israelites, know that the Most High dwell in eternity. But thus saith the high and lofty one that inhabiteth eternity, whose name is Holy. I dwell in the high and holy place with him also that is of a contrite and humble spirit to revive the spirit of the humble and to revive the heart of the contrite ones. We are striving to be where the Most High is. We want to spend eternity with the Father. Life here on earth is temporary. Nothing here is permanent. Once our spirits separate from our earthly body, eternity starts for us. Our goal as a people is to spend eternity with the Father. In order to spend eternity with the Most High, we must repent and return to the Father. The scriptures in the Bible reveal that the Most High created everything in six days and rested on the seventh day. Thus the heavens and the earth were finished, and all the host of them. And on the seventh day God ended his work which he had made, and he rested on the seventh day from all his work which he had made. And God blessed the seventh day and sanctified it because that in it he had rested from all his work which God created and made. Israelites, it's very important that you don't confuse the Most High's seven days with our seven days. Seven days for us is one week. In eternity where the Most High dwell, our one week equals to seven years. Israelites, it's important for you to understand the Most High's time and calendar. The scriptures reveal to us that one day with the Most High is a thousand years. The scriptures went on to say a thousand years is like one day. But beloved, be not ignorant of this one thing, that one day is with the Lord as a thousand years, and a thousand years is one day. Peter said to the people, don't be ignorant of this. Israelites, it's very important that you're not ignorant of how the Most High view time so that you can properly know the season we are in. The scriptures in the book of Genesis said, the Most High made the heavens and the earth. The earth was void without form and the Most High said, let there be light and it was so. The scriptures went on to say the Most High divided light and darkness by calling light day and darkness night. That was what the Most High accomplished on the first day. To some Israelites, when they hear first day, they think of 24 hours. As you heard in the scriptures, one day is like a thousand years with the Most High. When the scriptures state what the Most High accomplished on the first day, it took 1,000 years in our time to complete. In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. And the earth was without form and void, and darkness was upon the face of the deep. And the Spirit of God moved upon the face of the waters. And God said, Let there be light. And there was light. And God saw the light that it was good. And God divided the light from the darkness. And God called the light day. And the darkness he called night. And the evening and the morning 
for the first day. With the synagogue of Satan calling 24 hours one day, it creates confusion for the masses. When the people read the scriptures and hear of prophecy stating 70 weeks, as well as the Most High resting on the seventh day, most people believe the Most High created everything stated in the days he created them in 24 hours. One day is actually a thousand years of our time. The synagogue of Satan called 1,000 years millennium. Israelites, can you see how the Satans distorted everything? Israelites, 24 hours is not even a second with the Most High. What we refer to as one week in eternity where the Most High dwell, that is 70 years. With the beast culture calling 24 hours one day, when the people read the scriptures and see prophecy set for 70 weeks, they are counting the time as if seven days is one week. 70 weeks in the Most High's time is 490 years for us. Israelites, that is how so many people are miscalculating time. It's important for us to look for the signs of the times. The book of Adam and Eve confirmed what Peter said of one day being a thousand years with the Most High. The Most High made a covenant with Adam and Eve to deliver them in five days and a half. Adam thought the Most High was going to save him in five days in our time. The word of God had to explain to Adam that the five days and a half was 5,500 years. Yea, the word that will again save thee when the five days and a half are fulfilled. But when Adam heard these words from God and of the great five days and a half, he did not understand the meaning of them. For Adam was thinking that there would be but five days and a half for him to the end of the world. And Adam wept and prayed to God to explain it to him. Then God in his mercy for Adam, who was made after his own image and similitude, explained to him that these were 5,500 years and how one would then come and save him and his seed. Our father Adam thought the end of the world would be in five days. When Adam asked the word of God to explain it to him, the word of God said the five days and a half was 5,500 years. Adam's life on earth corresponded to the amount of time he spent in the garden. The scripture said Adam died when he was 930 years old. When Adam and Eve was in the garden, they weren't subject to time. When the Most High sent them out of the garden and brought them to this earth, the Most High made them and their children subject to time. We live by days, months, and years. God said to Adam, I have ordained on this earth days and years, and thou and thy seed shall dwell and walk in it until the days and years are fulfilled, when I shall send the word that created thee, and against which thou hast transgressed, the word that made thee come out of the garden and that raised thee when thou was fallen. Eternity, where the Most High dwell, is not bound by time. The book of Revelation revealed that in the coming kingdom, there will be no more night. It will be daylight all the time, forever and ever. The word of God, who also lived in eternity, revealed to Adam that he was without years and time. But when he becomes flesh, he will be subject to time. And there shall be no night there. And they need no candle, neither light of the sun, for the Lord God giveth them light. And they shall reign for ever and ever. But I will, when I shall come down from heaven, and shall become flesh of thy seed, and take upon me the infirmity from which thou sufferest. Then the darkness that came upon thee in this cave shall come upon me in the grave, when I am in the flesh of thy seed. And I, who am without years, shall be subject to the reckoning of years, of times, of months, and of days. And I shall be reckoned as one of the sons of men in order to save thee. As you can see, Israelites, eternity is not bound to time. Also, the spirit realm, your dream life, is not bound to time. That is how we can see events that have taken place but have yet to manifest in the physical realm. The workers of iniquity attack you in the spirit realm to keep you bound. That is why it's important to destroy your enemies in the spirit realm and it will manifest in the physical realm. 
the synagogue of Satan made us believe the appointed prophecies set by the most high in eternity corresponds with the time on earth. That is false. One day in eternity is equal to 1000 years on earth. When we read of the most high creating everything in six days, know that the scriptures is talking about 6,000 years in our time. Because the synagogue of Satan tampered with everything, many people believe the last days the scriptures talk about started a few years ago. Israelites, know that there's a difference between the last days and time and the last day. You have to understand the prophecies that will take place in the last days and time in the last day. Israelites, the last days started long before this generation existed. The scriptures in the book of Acts reveal this to be true. The prophet Joel in the Bible spoke of many prophecies for the last days and the end time. One of the most popular last day prophecy that already took place spoken of by the prophet Joel is the prophecy of the most high pouring out his spirit on all flesh. And it shall come to pass afterward that I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh and your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. Your old men shall dream dreams. Your young men shall see visions. And also upon the servants and upon the handmaids in those days will I pour out my spirit. A lot of Israelites believe the Most High just started to pour out his spirit on his people. The reason some Israelites believe this prophecy is now manifesting because of the truth the Most High is making available at this time. Israelites, the Most High has been pouring out his spirit on his people since the day the Holy Spirit came. In addition, the prophets in the generation before the word of God became flesh, they prophesied when the spirit of the Most High would come upon them. However, the prophecy from the prophet Joel manifests in the generation when the people received the Holy Spirit. The Most High has been pouring out his spirit on all flesh. The last days started many generations prior. The disciples that were teaching the people and giving the people their testimonies about the word of God when he became flesh lived in the last days. When the word of God completed his mission to save Adam and Eve and all of the righteous, the covenant the Most High made with Adam was fulfilled. The 5,500 years covenant was completed when the word of God resurrected and returned to the Father. Yet let me tell thee, O my brother, that the 5,000 years from the creation of Adam did not end before the days of Cyrus, king of Persia. Then from Cyrus to the suffering of our Savior, Jesus Christ, even as the faithful Daniel prophesied, saying, After seven weeks Christ shall come and shall be put to death. Know therefore, and understand, that from the going forth of the commandment to restore and to build Jerusalem unto the Messiah the Prince shall be seven weeks and threescore and two weeks. The street shall be built again and the wall even in troublous times. And after threescore and two weeks shall Messiah be cut off, but not for himself. And the people of the Prince that shall come shall destroy the city and the sanctuary and the end thereof shall be with a flood, and unto the end of the war, desolations are determined. Now seven weeks are 490 years, for a great week is of 70 years. Yet in that the prophet said, after seven years, he appointed to the 10 years that remained, for he did not say Christ shall come at the end of the 10 weeks, yet he said after seven weeks, he shall come and be put to death. Yet the meaning hereof after is those 10 years that make up the 500 years. And that is the fulfillment of the promise that God made to Adam that he would save him at the end of that time. The Israelites living when the word of God became flesh didn't believe until after everything was accomplished. They were looking in the scriptures, but they couldn't comprehend the scriptures. This remind me of today. So many are running to the scriptures and they cannot comprehend the scriptures. They are passing around doctrines of men that is popular in the beast culture. Daniel prophesied that many would run to the scriptures and knowledge would increase. The Most High told Daniel to seal the scriptures until the end. 
Israelites, the time have come for you to realize that we are the end time generation. The fourth book of Adam and Eve revealed that seven weeks are 490 years and a great week is 70 years. The Israelites alive when the word of God became flesh didn't know how to determine the generations. Through their ignorance, they rejected the Messiah and tried to make Daniel and other prophets to be a liar. And behold, it is made plain to us that Christ came when the prophecy was fulfilled. As Micah the prophet said, Yet thou, O Bethlehem, in the land of Judah, thou art not lower than the kings of Judah. For from thee shall come a king that shall feed my people Israel. Let the Jews now feel ashamed of themselves. For if they make Daniel a liar, they cannot again make the prophet Micah a liar. Yet if they will make them liars still, behold, Christ was born in Bethlehem in the land of Judah. Nothing has changed with the Israelites. Because of unbelief, they rejected the word of God and his mother when he became flesh. They ignored the prophecies from Daniel and Micah. Our people have a history of stoning the people the Most High sent to reveal truth to them. They tried to make Daniel a liar. Nothing have changed even in the awakening, the truth the Most High is making available. They tried to shame those of us whom the Most High has poured out his spirit to reveal deep truth. Instead of listening and seeking the Father, they gathered to attack, lie, and make up false narratives to discredit and dismiss the truth. When will Israelites learn? The last days consist of multiple days. The word of God became flesh over 2,000 years ago. 2,000 years is equivalent to two days. All of the generations alive from the time the word of God was flesh up until now lived in the last days. The synagogue of Satan want you to believe the last days just started. Remember, the book of Revelation said Satan had a short time. That prophecy was told over 2,000 years ago. The last days is not according to the way we count time. The last days started when the word of God returned to the Father and the Most High sent the Holy Spirit. That was the beginning to the last days. Israelites, a significant amount of time have passed. A lot of what we're reading in the scriptures took place during the last days. Israelites, I want you to understand that we are the end time generation. Daniel prophesied that in the end time, many would run to the scriptures and knowledge would increase. But thou, O Daniel, shut up the words and seal the book, even to the time of the end. Many shall run to and fro, and knowledge shall be increased. The scriptures in the book of Daniel you just heard revealed the Most High sealing the scriptures until the time of the end. The scriptures went on to say knowledge would increase. That is exactly what is taking place right now in this generation in the real awakening. The Most High have been revealing deep truth that many are hearing for the first time. Israelites, your knowledge won't increase if you're repeating the doctrines from Rome. Your knowledge only increase when new revelation is being revealed. So many people's knowledge are increasing with the truth the Most High is making available at this time. In addition, a lot of people are running and searching the scriptures for truth. The scriptures in the book of Daniel confirm that we are the end time generation. The reason our knowledge is increasing, the Most High is crying out and calling on to the remnant the Most High called to return to him. Israelites, time is of the essence. And it shall come to pass that whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be delivered. For in Mount Zion and in Jerusalem shall be deliverance, as the Lord hath said, and in the remnant whom the Lord shall call. Israelites, it's very important for you to know the difference between the last days and time and the last day. We are the generation living at the end time. Israelites, just because we are the end time generation, it doesn't mean the end will come right now. The last days started at the death and resurrection of the word of God. The last days ended when the time of sorrows started. This generation is witnessing the times of sorrows. The word of God prophesy about the times of sorrows taking place during the end times. The word of God reassure his disciples the end is not yet. 
and as he sat upon the Mount of Olives, the disciples came unto him privately, saying, Tell us, when shall these things be, and what shall be the sign of thy coming, and of the end of the world? And Jesus answered and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you. For many shall come in my name, saying, I am Christ, and shall deceive many. And ye shall hear of wars, and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass. But the end is not yet. For nation shall rise against a nation, and kingdom against a kingdom. And there shall be famines, and pestilences, and earthquakes in divers places. All these are the beginning of sorrows. As you heard the Messiah telling the disciples what signs to look for that will determine the end of the world. Israelites, did you notice the Messiah didn't tell the disciples to count the time? Remember, no one know when the last day will be, only the Father. Looking at the signs will give us a better idea to how close we are to our redemption. There are a lot of prophecies that must come to pass in order for the last day to come. The word of God said to his disciples, when the truth of the gospel is heard and taught in all the kingdoms of this world, that is when the end will come. And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations. And then shall the end come. After stating the end will come after the gospel is heard in all the kingdoms, the word of God went on to inform his disciples of more events that will take place in the end times. The truth that is spreading at this time and the exposing of the wicked from the Most High is the truth that needs to be heard in all the kingdoms of this world. The doctrines from Rome have been heard in all the nations around the world. But this truth that I have been speaking to you for some time have not been heard in all the kingdoms. A great majority of Israelites still worship Jesus and believe Jesus is the Most High in the flesh. The truth of the Most High's words is starting to reach the nations. Although we are the end time generation, there are countless prophecies that must come to pass. Prophecies such as the two witnesses, the mark of the beast, the men of sin, and the great tribulation. The Most High have set aside time during the end times for all of these events to take place. And I will give power unto my two witnesses, and they shall prophesy a thousand two hundred and threescore days clothed in sackcloth. Israelites, it's very important that you pay attention to the words in the scriptures. The scripture you just heard said the two witnesses will prophesy for 1,203 score days. In other words, 1,260 days. When the Most High said to Adam that he would save him in five days and a half, the scriptures revealed it was 5,500 years. Israelites, you have to be able to differentiate when the scriptures is using our time and the Most High's time in eternity. If 1,260 days was based on the Most High's time in eternity, that would convert to 1,260,000 years for us. Remember, one day with the Most High is 1,000 years for us. The two witnesses can't be prophesying for that long. 1,260 days is about three and a half years. Israelites, you have to pay attention to details in the scriptures, and most importantly, let the scriptures speak. Allow the Holy Spirit to reveal truth to you and tell you the things to come. Albeit when he, the Spirit of truth, is come, he will guide you into all truth. For he shall not speak of himself, but whatsoever he shall hear, that shall he speak and he will show you things to come. Israelites, just because we are a part of the end time generation, it doesn't mean we will see when all of these events that are prophesied to take place at the end times. Remember, one day with the Most High is 1,000 years for us. The last days lasted over 2,000 years. Israelites, we are at the beginning stage of the end times. As the signs of the times begin to take place in the end times, we will know exactly where we are in our journey to redemption. Israelites, it's important that you don't let anyone deceive you about the prophecies. The prophecies scheduled for the end times will happen in the order the Most High said it would take place. The synagogue of Satan have imitated countless prophecies to deceive. 
Israelites, it's important that you don't mistake the synagogue of Satan's rage and imitations as the signs of the times. The scriptures did warn us that Satan have come down to us in great wrath. Israelites, you should start looking for signs such as the men of sin that would deceive the people through flatteries and peace at the end times. And in his estate shall stand up a vile person to whom they shall not give the honor of the kingdom, but he shall come in peaceably and obtain the kingdom by flatteries. Signs like you just heard is what you should look for. Signs of the gospel being taught in all the kingdoms of this world, just like it's happening today, is what should alert you about the season that we are in. We know that once the men of sin is here, it won't be long before the tribulation period begins. Declaring the end of the world is here when the earth is groaning during hurricane season is not one of the signs that determine the season that we are in. Every year around hurricane season, the earth experiences devastations. Israelites, make sure you're looking at the prophecies the Most High said would take place in the end times to know the seasons. The prophet Joel prophesied about the day of the Lord that would take place during the end times many years ago. That prophecy is not going to take place until the men of sin comes and the tribulation begins. Israelites, I want you to understand that the prophecy by Joel have been known for thousands of years. Back then, the scripture said that day was nigh. Blow ye the trumpet in Zion. And sound an alarm in my holy mountain. Let all the inhabitants of the land tremble. For the day of the Lord cometh, for it is nigh at hand. When the prophet Joel prophesied about the day of the Lord, he revealed that time is nigh. How much closer are we in our generation reading about this prophecy over 2,000 years later? The book of Joel is said to have been written around 300 B.C. Israelites, that is why it's important for you to repent daily and return to the Father. The day of the Most High comes as a thief in the night. When everything seems to be at peace, then sudden destruction come upon the people. But of the times and the seasons, brethren, ye have no need that I write unto you. For yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord so cometh as a thief in the night. For when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction cometh upon them as travail upon a woman with child and they shall not escape. Israelites, the last day is literally the last day. The time given to the inhabitants on this earth to repent is over at the last day. There are several prophecies set to take place on the last day. The word of God will return to save the remnant alive during that time. The remnant that perished before the last day, the word of God will raise them up from their sleep at his return. But the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel and with the trump of God and the dead in Christ shall rise first. Then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. And so shall we ever be with the Lord. Religion teach that when the word of God return and gather his elect and the dead will rise, that is the rapture. The workers of iniquity proclaim this event will take place before the tribulation. Israelites, by now you should know the rapture doctrine is a false doctrine, as well as countless other doctrines taught in the beast religion. When the word of God was flesh, he prophesied about how he will raise all the people the Most High gave to him at the last day. And this is the Father's will which hath sent me, that of all which he hath given me I should lose nothing but should raise it up again at the last day. Israelites, did you notice that the Messiah said he will raise all who belong to him at the last day? He didn't say in the last days like some people teach. We all have been waiting for this day. That is the day the Most High appointed for our redemption. The prophecy in the book of Daniel said Michael would stand up during the time of trouble. When Michael stands up, it will be deliverance for our people everyone whose name is written in the book. The book of Matthew confirmed at the end of the tribulation is when the word of God will return to gather the elect from the four corners of this world. Immediately after the tribulation of those days shall the sun be darkened and the moon shall not give her light and the stars shall fall from heaven and the powers of the heavens shall be shaken. 
and then shall appear the sign of the Son of Man in heaven. And then shall all the tribes of the earth mourn, and they shall see the Son of Man coming in the clouds of heaven with power and great glory. And he shall send his angels with a great sound of a trumpet, and they shall gather together his elect from the four winds, from one end of heaven to the other. Israelites, from the time the gospel is being taught in all the kingdoms of this world to when the word of God returned, can take several years, months, and days to happen. Only the Most High know the time he set aside for these prophecies to be fulfilled. Just because we are the end time generation, it doesn't mean that we will see all of these prophecies come to pass. Many people will transition to the afterlife. Just because some people transition to the afterlife, this doesn't conclude they weren't living in the end times. Even if a hundred years pass since our generation, it's still the end time until everything written about the end time are fulfilled. Presently in the B system, 24 hours equal to one day. With the Most High, it takes 1,000 years for one day to be completed. If we, the generation that is witnessing the gospel being taught in all the kingdoms of this world, perish before the two witnesses make their appearance, it's still the end time for the generations after us. If the men of sin don't show up for another 200 years, it's still the end time and the same day for the Most High. The disciples alive when the word of God was revealing the signs of the end of the world thought they would see these events come to pass. We are the generation beginning to see these things. The book of Matthew said, the generation alive will not pass until all these things be fulfilled. Verily I say unto you, this generation shall not pass till all these things be fulfilled. This generation have seen an increase of sudden deaths. These people were alive during our generation, witnessing the signs of the times. Some of us will not see all of these things coming to pass. Keep in mind that a generation consists of multiple years. A generation in the most highest time could be longer than 10 years. The word of God let us know no one know the time. Israelites, because no one know the time, it's important to listen to the words of the Most High and look for the signs set by the Most High through prophecy to guide us in the end times. The word of God said his words will never pass away. Heaven and earth shall pass away, but my word shall not pass away. Israelites, there are countless doctrines being taught at this time. The beast religion take the lead role of deceiving the people through doctrines of devils. Don't allow yourself to be deceived no more with doctrines of devils. Everything written must be fulfilled. Instead of looking at the Satans destroying the earth, shift your focus to the signs of the times. Many people are led to believe they have a lot of time on their hands. The Most High showed you eternity is not bound with time. We may believe we have a long way to the next big prophecy to be fulfilled. That prophecy could be around the corner. We have to keep in mind that some prophecies were written thousands of years ago, making our generation closer than ever. It was prophesied that we will begin to remember ourselves in the land of our captivity. The Most High is waking up his people to give them a chance to repent and return to him. The Most High is pleading with his people. Israelites, are you hearing his call? Wherefore, I will yet plead with you, saith the Lord, and with your children's children will I plead. Israelites, allow the scriptures to speak. When you allow the word of the Most High to have its way, it will sanctify you with truth. For the words of the Most High is truth. The Satans will imitate the signs of the times to deceive many. Don't allow the synagogue of Satan to lead you away from the Most High. Sharing the same beliefs with the workers of iniquity and religion is accepting the doctrines of devils from your enemies. Remember, Satan is the prince of Rome. Israelites, don't look to the lying wonders from the synagogue of Satan, nor should you become afraid of the events that are supposed to happen. Events like wars, famine, and earthquakes. Remember, all these things must take place. Shift your focus to the signs given to us by the word of the Most High to recognize the season that we are in. The Satans can't deceive you if you allow the Holy Spirit to guide you into all truth. Israelites, everything written must come to pass. 
in the order that it was prophesied. And take heed to yourselves, lest at any time your heart be overcharged with surfeiting and drunkenness and cares of this life, and so that day come upon you unawares. For as a snare shall it come on all of them that dwell on the face of the whole earth. Watch ye therefore, and pray always that ye may be accounted worthy to escape all these things that shall come to pass, and to stand before the Son of Man, 